Hi everybody, let's just start up a reading training with me today. Uh, now, right now you can see this black one stone is in danger, so you are supposed to fight with this two stone of the white. So, which means you must make longer liberty. If you just cut here, then white can try to capture this black, so it doesn't work. Uh, maybe this way is better? Yeah. Because just now I just used my habit to make Atari anywhere, but if like just uh, goes out one time and try to cut here, then you know, uh, white cannot connect this two stone because black is gonna capture it here. So white has to capture here, but when black cut here, white is in trouble. Just so uh, after this, you know, white doesn't have to get any damage from black. So I think white has to play here. Yeah, even if you thought about this one, um, you know, just normally we get to think, oh, when black cut here, now white goes here and it doesn't work anything. Uh, that is what we are doing usually. But you can even think what's gonna be happen after this. I just told you about this one, the directory. Uh, I didn't expect uh, me to ex uh, explain this one. So now I can't say this two is right one. Two even has to be here. So now black uh, cutting doesn't work anyway. So you must make this uh, become a longer liberty. Uh, what do you think about it? I think you can easily think about this stretch here. The after this main point is that you should uh, even think about the white best move as well. Oh, you know now white two stones are in danger, so white can think about just black here or connect. Uh, connect doesn't work. Since white connect here, black can just cut and white two stones are captured. So which means white must block here. And then what do you think about it? Before you put this one stone, you have to read perfectly now. Don't put the stone first and you have to read before you put the stone. Okay, that's the main point. So now after white plays here, if you just exchange here, you know this is not helping anything. Even you cut here, now white can just capture the black. So it doesn't work. Then what do you think about the black's another move? Mm. If you read, if you can find the correct answer, then I think your level is quite good. Okay, now the I'm gonna tell you the correct. If you couldn't find yet, you can just stop the video and try to solve it first, please. And black has to make longer liberty with the stretch here. Watch that meaning. If white is just surround here, then which means black can capture this white group. So white can't play like this. If white just try to connect, then now you know already your liberty is longer than just now. You have a more liberty. So black can capture these white two stones. What about white ignore? If white ignore, then you can just put one stone and sacrifice. And then you can try to catch back these three stones. Now it's not working anything. Uh, you may have a something different thinking as well. Just like you may have a some different idea. Uh, you might apply cutting first. But if you cut this, uh, now white can just uh, answer here. Then even though you Atari here, this time it's different. If you stretch here, I don't have to connect here. I can just block here. Just now this exchange was a bad exchange. And even black cut here, white can capture. So now, first, the question, main point was you have to see uh, the move three. Then now you can capture the white. Did you find the correct? Okay, we can do the next question. Uh, now this is really a uh, common capturing race situation. Now the black, this group is fighting with this white 60 stones. Uh, now you can see the liberty, you can count to the liberty. Uh, white uh, 60 stone has uh, 4 liberties and black, this 4 stone has 3 liberties. So which means if you just surround here, uh, if white just surround something like this, now you are faster than white. Even white has played here, you have more liberty. Then after you surround, even you have to think about white best to move as well. What do you think about it? Oh, uh, now between this black four stones and this black two stones, uh, you have to give one foot. This is the vital point. If black capture, you shouldn't surround those stones. You can just try to keep surround these five stones like this. Then even though black just surround when you are doing here, then black has less liberty. Okay, after this you have to return again. And I think you can realize that where was the vital point, right? Now, uh, when you surround here, white gave you one stone, right? Then which means you have to make longer liberty, something like this. 
Since this, you got five liberties, but white has four liberties, so you are winning. Even the white has played here, then, then you can just answer. White cannot make more liberty. So after that, we can just try to surround. And now black is faster for one liberty. So this question's main point was, you can keep trying to uh, think about the surrounding from outside first. But the main point is that you have to keep trying to find uh, this move. And then after that, you have to return. Now uh, eventually you can see that black should make more liberty. That was the point. Okay, did you find it correct? Okay, the next one, the life and death questions. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be really hard. Just like has, a, I think about two ways you have to read. Uh, we can see together. I think the first feeling can be pressed from outside. You know, always I'm just telling, I'm showing you the wrong one first, but you may find out, found out the correct answer, then which means your reading is good. Yeah, so just uh, just even if uh, I give you the wrong variation first, then you can try to read all the way. You know, as I told you, reading all the way is the what you are doing with the life and death questions. Okay, now the, if you press from outside, then you have to think about the white next to move. If white is making bigger shape, then you know, it seems full. But now cutting is sente. White has to answer, then you can try to capture. Of course, it doesn't mean this is working, you can just capture. Because when you are not using the stone, you even may have uh, some reading trouble. Now, you know, I'm putting the stone, that's why you will feel. Of course, I'm not gonna think about this for in my actual game. But the main point is when you do not use any stone, and if you are using your, your brain, you may have a reading trouble. That's why I'm showing you. And even I was having the training with such method. Just like the, I didn't put any stone and I'm just keep using the black and white, the black and white. And then sometimes in my brain, the stones are disappear. I all forget what I was thinking. Then what can I do? I need to read again. You know, read again. Then now uh, one day, then you will just calculate naturally. Yeah. So now when black plays here, uh, white shouldn't connect here. Then you found a vital point, right? White can just connect here. And now black can't do anything. White got two eyes. So after this, I think you can find out correct easily. Uh, just now when you play here, white has played here. Then which means this is a vital point. If white ignore, then you can capture these three stones. Something like this. So white is supposed to answer. White just need to capture. And then you can try to Atari. These five stones are in danger. If white ignore, you can just capture. So white must answer, and then you can feed one stone to white, right? So now, this is great. You just had to read two ways. Yeah, it wasn't really difficult. Today, what I prepared the uh, hardest question is last one. This is a little bit difficult. Okay, it seems very easy, right? <laughs> yeah, now you can see the vital point in one second, I guess. Uh, if you just try to press from outside, then white can save very easily. Yeah, even you try to beat these three stones. Actually, maybe if your level is stronger, you might complain why white has played two. Yeah, you are right. This is better for the point. White can get four point. Yeah, it's much better for end game. So anyway, you we can't press from outside. So you have to invade first. Always life and death has a two pattern. One is pressing from outside and finally invade. And one is the invade first that we can press outside. There are two patterns usually. But actually knowing the pattern is not really useful in the life and death question. Just doing is the best way. Just maybe you may want to know, so I'm just telling you. So now where you have to invade is this one. I think you can find out easily. Because now white cannot ignore, you can just add Tari. If white do that, then we can just uh, capture. So white uh, must connect. You know, white cannot do anything. So maybe this is not that I ex that you expected. Uh, connect is not even working. After this, I told you, you invade first and you can try to beat from outside. Now, white is captured. So what does white have to do? White just need to connect here. But main point is after this exchange is still very difficult. You know, now which means you can see the uh, A and B. You have to break those eyes. How can you do that? If you play here, then white can make one more eye here. You can't do anything. 
If you play here, then white can make one more eye. Even you try to do everything, actually even white can connect, nothing is possible. So I can't say first move was difficult, but third move is very difficult. Uh, if you cannot find it yet, then please stop the video, okay? Make sure you have to think enough. Okay, then I'm gonna tell you the answer. Uh, correct, yeah, correct answer is feeding one more stone. You know, white cannot connect here, you can just get in here. So white must capture. But still, you can see C and D. What can we do that? You have to feed one more time here. And if white connect, then you can break here. So white is supposed to capture again. And then you can break here. And now when white connect here, you can give one stone. Uh, now you know this is fake eye. So white is supposed to connect. Then you can break here. Yeah. So for this question, third move was the main point. It was quite difficult to find. So normally for this kind of a pattern, uh, I can't say you, you will see this situation in, uh, quite often in your actual game. But if you serve many times for life and death, you can see even such kind of a passage as well. So did you enjoy to have a training with me today? Uh, if you enjoyed and if, if this was useful, then please like and subscribe for my channel. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching my video. Bye.